Alright, we're going to have a look at doing some engineering drawings for our toolbox. Uh, what I have here is some graph paper. This is 5mm graph paper, so each square is 5mm, which is going to come in handy when we're doing all our little tabs and stuff. I've got a ruler, got a triangle, got a pen. I don't really mind if you draw this in pen or pencil, whatever's going to be neatest for you. What you don't want to do is have like a really soft pencil that's just going to do a really thick line down the edge here because you're going to end up with a really messed up drawing. Now we're going to draw this in scale 1 is to 2. So our toolbox sheet metal, if you do remember, was 400 by 430. So I'm going to draw 200 millimeters across. Because obviously 400 divided by 2 is 200. And then 430 divided by 2 is obviously 215. So come down to 215. There's some nice crisp lines. Now what I can do, is I can use my triangle to draw the last couple. Line it up. Down. Down. Now this triangle has uh, measurements on it. There's going to be some around that won't have measurements on, but you can use those as well. Uh, right, there's our 400. So let's put, go ahead and put a dimension up top here. Now when we do dimensions on grid paper, I like to draw our leader lines halfway through the grid box and I'm going to put the dimensions on top like that. Over to the side here uh, we need to bring it out a little bit further because there's a couple of dimensions that run down the side here. At the top there's only going to be one up there and two down here. So I'm going to come out one, two, maybe three grids just so that I've got enough space. One, two, three and that one was 430. Now, I need to draw the first bit of detail in, which is my 115 millimeter lines that come down. So half of 115 is 57.5. So we're just gonna draw those to 60 because I wanna round up to the closest five. Just so our drawing stays neat and on the grid lines. So I've kind of marked both sides, just like what we would do when we're doing it on our sheet metal. And I'm drawing it across. Need to add a measurement to there. So this time I'm going to extend my leader line down to there. Come over here and draw a leader line there. Down, 115. I'm going to do that at the bottom because it's not completely evident that those uh, measurements are the same. So if we put it on there twice, then you definitely know that it's going to be. If there's a pattern of uh, measurements on here that are all the same, we don't have to write each one of those down, but because there's only two of these, we will. Now the next part we need to do is our 15 millimeter lines that come down here. So 15 divided by 2 is 7.5. So we're going to round up again to two squares. All the way down. Now that was on both sides. So I'm going to come over here, draw it all the way down, down the bottom to where I'm going to put my leader lines. And again, I've left a block or a grid in between. And I'm keeping it consistent. You want to keep things consistent because it just makes it for a better drawing. 15 and 15. Uh, so that's most of the detail there. Now, there's going to be some things down the side, but we're going to write in the middle, we're going to write our name, just because when we did our project, we had our name in the inside. We now need to come over here and do our 45 degree tabs. Now, that's when we can use our triangle. No, it's not going to work. That's not going to be very accurate at all. It needs to be 15 millimeters up and down. So we're just going to mark to there, but we don't really need to mark to there because 15 divided by 2 is 7.5, round it up to 10. We know that that's two squares, so we can go along and draw in those triangles that we cut out to make our joints. Again, this one was 15, so we're rounding it, well, we're dividing it by 2 to get our scale of 1 is to 2, and then 
we are rounding it up to 10. Just for this drawing though, not on any of our metal or anything like that, just for this drawing. Right, we now need to go in and put a few dimension lines for those so that we know what size they are. Uh, I'm not going to do them on this side because I've already got one, two, three measurements over here, but this side's completely um, spare, so I'll put them over here. Come in, one there, to show that the bottom is 15, to make a 45 degree triangle. And the one up here, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to draw a leader line out, uh, one, two, three, four box, and I'm going to draw, put my ruler there so that I can see how far it's going to come down. Leaving a little gap, I'm going to draw down to there. Alright, then, as neatly as I can, maybe we can draw that one out a little bit further. I'm going to put in what angle that is. That's a 45 degree angle, so that we know exactly what that is. Which means we'd be able to mark, we'd be able to mark it out if we didn't have that information. I'm also going to add on here. Another set. This one's not at 45 degrees. Well, it is at 45 degrees, but the angle line that I'm drawing is going to be to show that that's 90 degrees. Alright, so it makes a 90 degrees square inside of there. I'm fairly sure that that's all of our dimensions and lines drawn on there. If we'd had a little bit of forethought, we probably would have gone through and just made these a dotted line so that we know that they're fold lines, but this drawing here is about a C plus level standard, I would say. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Depends on what other information you put in.